brought to you by GTA. We start with you. At issue is recent guidance from the U.S. Labor Department to local labor director David De La Sola, which states that claimants, excluding the self-employed and gig workers who are working any amount of hours, are no longer qualified for the PUA program. In announcing the new guidance, De La Sola has cautioned the thousands of reduced hour workers here that they may have to pay back any money they receive if U.S. DOL does not exempt Guam. De La Sola has said he, the governor, and Congressman San Nicolas are all working their channels, and San Nicolas shared this letter today to President Biden. He writes that, quote, We, the undersigned, are troubled by the amended guidance that would disqualify millions of hardworking Americans from federal unemployment assistance programs. The letter goes on to say it always was and still is Congress's intent to ensure that working Americans who became unemployed partially unemployed or unavailable to work directly due to the COVID-19 pandemic receive benefits under the PUA program. The letter calls on the president to reconsider implementation of the new guidance or administratively allow reduced worker employees to continue to qualify. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.